हाय एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ गुड इवनिंग सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी वर डिस्कसिंग पावर्स ऑफ एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स वॉट दिस पावर ऑफ एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन इट विल गिव अस ओके सॉरी सो यू कैन सी वी हैव सीन सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पावर ऑफ एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स नाउ वी विल सी सम मोर एप्लीकेशन ओके सो ऑलरेडी आई थिंक फोर एप्लीकेशन वी हैव सीन फोर मोर एप्लीकेशन वी विल सी इन दिस लेक्चर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो यू नो वॉट इज पावर ऑफ एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स that you already know so tell me what power of adjacency matrix will tell you if you have directed or undirected graph in any directed or undirected graph what will happen that if you do adjacency matrix power s then it will give you number of walks uh, between every pair of vertices number of walks of length s correct this will happen for directed or undirected graph your graph can be directed or undirected so the same uh, so basically remember your graph can be directed or your graph can be undirected whatever graph you take directed or undirected whatever graph you take this will happen okay so when you do a power s uh, uh, if your adjacency matrix is a the adjacency matrix is a then in this situation when you do a power s then this a power s will give you walks of length s it will give you walks number of walks okay it will give you number of walks of length exactly s not less than s not more than s it will give you number of walks of length exactly s okay so this is the concept that we have already seen in the last class so you can see that your graph can be directed or undirected graph uh, you also yeah self loop is also fine there is no problem like self loop is also fine if you have self loop that is also fine but multi edges must not be there so you can see that directed or undirected graph you have then in this situation m power n m is the adjacency matrix then this entry i i comma j will give us number of walks from i to j of length uh, of length n let's move on some applications we have seen now we will see the next application that is application number 5 and that is finding the number of three length cycles in a simple directed or undirected graph okay how to find number of triangles yes or no three length cycle means number of triangles so i can say this three length cycle i can also call it triangles so how many triangles are there how many triangles we have so this also you can very easily find now let's see the concept here first of all your graph must be simple graph means means you do not have any self loop so when i say simple graph means it means no self loop so you have no self loop so let's let's take let's first consider the undirected simple graph let's consider undirected simple graph okay undirected simple graph this is what we are considering simple graph undirected so <clears throat> tell me very simple simple things i am asking if you have undirected simple graph and if you have triangle then because of that triangle uh, so okay see uh, what i am saying i am saying that let's assume you have a triangle let's assume there is a triangle like a b c okay something like this now because of triangle because this is a three length cycle correct so i can say that in which matrix uh, in which uh, basically power of adjacency matrix this uh, this cycle will be detected like this aa entry will be detected so tell me are you getting my point what i am saying you have a undirected simple graph now i am saying that if you have this triangle then what will happen in a cube just tell me simple thing what will happen in m cube let's assume m is the adjacency matrix so tell me if m is the adjacency matrix then what will happen in m cube what will happen so because of this triangle let's call it uh, this triangle let's call it t1 so you can call it triangle t1 triangle t1 so because of this triangle t1 what will happen you will get two here 
yes or no i can say like a b c a b c so what you will get you will get two here because you can notice this is a walk of length three this is a walk of length three correct from a to a from a to a this value two you will get because of triangle t you t1 you are getting right yes or no so this is you are getting by t1 because of triangle t1 you are getting this two the reason is very simple because uh, what are these two these two are like this you can go from a b c a or you can go from a c b a so these are the two walks so these are the two walks of length three two three length walks two walks length three okay very simple now similarly you will get two here from b to b either you can have this walk or you can have this walk so again you will get two here again you will go get two here either you have this walk from c to c or you have this walk from c to c so you will get two 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 very simple thing now let's see one more thing one more thing i want to ask you <clears throat> so okay so because you have underrated simple graph what is the only possibility to get a walk of length 3 from a to a you have remember you have underrated simple graph what is the what are the possibilities what are the possibilities this is the question i am asking that what are the possibilities such that such that there is a walk such that there is a walk of length 3 from v to v or i can say from vertex a to a tell me what are the possibilities you have simple graph remember your graph is simple you have a simple undirected graph now what are the possibilities that we can get a walk of length 3 from a to a what are the possibilities very simple observation will tell you the only possibility is that you want walk of length 3 then you cannot do this right for example like you cannot do this uh, you can go from a to b then b to a this you cannot do because we don't have any self loop so the only possibility is triangle yes or no the only possibility the only possibility is what the only possibility is a triangle do you agree the only possibility is a triangle there is no other possibility if you want a walk of length 3 the only possibility this is important that the only possibility is a triangle because you don't have any self loop see if you have self loop then things can be different correct like if you have self loop then you can have this type of walk you can have uh, see if you have self loop then what you can have then this type of walk you can have three length walk so if you have self loop things can be different if you have self loop like here this is a self loop so this is a three length walk from a to a but because there is this is a simple graph i am talking about so then in this situation the only possibility is a triangle so two things we have seen that if you want walk of length 3 from a to a then the only possibility is a triangle okay walk of length 3 the only walk of length 3 you can uh, uh, you can get is because of triangle and because of one triangle how much how many walks you are getting so two things okay are you getting uh, see there are two things here so basically there are two things i can say the first thing is to get walk of length 3 to get walk of length 3 if you want to get walk of length 3 from a to a from uh, or i can say from b to b so from b to b if you want to get a walk of length 3 only possibility is what only choice is a triangle okay you need a triangle only choice is a triangle only possibility is a triangle only the only the triangle can give you a walk of length 3 correct so if you want this if you want this walk of length 3 from b to b then the only possibility is a triangle this is the only choice and the second point because of one triangle how many walks of length 3 you are getting because of one triangle tell me because of one triangle because of one triangle on a on vertex b if you have one triangle on vertex b because of one triangle on vertex b so what okay there are two walks from b to b from b to b of length 3 correct 
yes or no is this clear to everyone because of one because of one triangle so one triangle uh, is giving you two walks of length three from b to b so these two points if you understood this point the first point and the second point if you understand then you can easily see tell me what will be the so so basically you will target a power three for walks of length three who who will target ultimately your point is walks of length three walks of length three so who you will target for walks of length three walks of length three who you who will calculate tell me which power you will calculate which power are you going to calculate power three very good okay so you are going to calculate power three so very simple you have undirected simple graph then you can calculate power three you have adjacency matrix you have adjacency matrix that is your m then in this what you can do you can find m power three this is what you can find you can find m power three in this m power three something important you have to notice you can notice that because of one triangle total in the in the trace look at the trace okay observe the trace now you observe trace trace of this m power three now you observe this trace tell me because of one triangle in this trace how much contribution is happening one triangle one triangle how much contribution one triangle is doing one triangle contribution one triangle contribution in a trace of m power 3 what is that because of one triangle how much contribution is happening one triangle contribution in trace focus on trace trace means summation of the diagonal summation of the main diagonal summation of the main diagonal this is your trace so one triangle contribution in the trace that is six yes or no that is six correct or not exactly six not up to six exactly six one triangle contribution is exactly six for example let me give you like consider this example a b c this is one triangle like you can consider d this is another triangle so there are two triangles let's assume there is e okay let's assume this is your situation now in this situation focus on m cube focus on m cube what your m cube will be can you can you find it out a b c d e a b c d e first of all how many triangles are there in this graph look at this graph and tell me number of triangles how many triangles so you can easily see number of triangles is equal to two three length cycles triangle means three length cycle Okay, so number of three length cycles, how many number of three length cycles? So how many three length cycle? There are two. One is this cycle. Another is this cycle. So there are two cycles. Now you tell me in this, just tell me the way these values. I only want these values. Can you tell me all these values? Like from A to A, M cube, how many walks of length three from A to A? From A to A, M cube means walks of length three m cube will give you walks of length three so this will give you walks of length three so tell me how many walks of length three you will get from a to a so from a to a one walk you can get this length of three and this you can get and because of only triangle you can get do you agree only because of triangle you can get walk of length three only because of triangle no one else can give you walk of length three there is no one else who can give you walk of length three. Like for example, you cannot get walk of length three in this way. If you go from A to E, then from E to A, you cannot get a walk of length three. So the only possibility to get walk of length three, that is this triangle. So I can say here, you will get two because of one triangle, because this A is part of only one triangle. Now, okay. A is part of only one triangle. So that is the reason this two is coming. This two is telling you that A is part of only one triangle. Okay. Tell me what this B, what, what this B to B, what this B to B will be, what this will be, this B to B, this will be, you can notice, uh, this cycle you will get this cycle. You will get this cycle. You will get this cycle. You will get total four. This four is telling you that it is part of two triangles from C to C. Again, there is four because C is part of two triangles. This C, this is part of two triangles from D to D. There will be two from E to E. There will be zero from E to E. There will be zero because from E to E, there is no, there is no walk of length three from E to E. There is no walk of length three. So that will be zero. It is not part of any triangle. 
See, D is part of one triangle. That is the reason two. Okay, this two means it is part of one triangle. This A is part of one triangle. So that is the reason two. This four means it is part of two triangle. C is part of two triangle. So this is the point. I hope you got this point. So you can easily see that why this value two is coming. This two is coming because A is part of one triangle. Okay. I can say this is part of two triangles. C part of two triangles. C part of two triangles. E part of zero triangle. E part of no triangle. Okay. So what is the trace? Can you tell me what is the trace in this? What is the trace? You can easily see in the previous example. Okay. In the previous example in the M3, what is the trace? Trace, you can add all of them. You can add all of them. So you can see that it will be, uh, it will be 12. So trace will be 12, but you can notice I have to divide by six number of C number of triangles will be what number of triangles will be what that will be this trace. This a trace of M cube. I have to divide by six because one triangle is giving you six value. See the contribution of one triangle because of this one triangle. Look at this one triangle. Look at this one triangle. This triangle T1 is giving you two here, two here, two here. Because of this one triangle, you are getting because uh, look at this one triangle. This is giving you two here. Okay. This is giving you two here and this is giving you two here. Correct. Do you agree? So one triangle is actually giving you six contribution. One triangle is doing the contribution of six. So number of triangles will be trace of this divided by six. The answer will be two and that is correct. And that is correct. Yes or no. So did you understand this? Please tell me, let me know. Did you understand this? Did you understand this? That in a, if you have underrated simple graph, so two things you have to understand. What are the two things? These are the two things. What first of all, because you have a simple graph, tell me the same thing. Will it work? If you have self loop, if you have self loop, will the same thing work? This will not work. If you have self loop, what is the reason? Tell me anyone. What is the reason? If you have self loop, this will not work self loop because of self loop without triangle. Also, you can get work of length three. Yes or no? Because of self loop without a triangle, you can get walk of length three without triangle, without triangle. You can get walk of length three. So that is the reason if you have self loop, this will not work, but you can notice if you have a graph underrated simple graph, then if you want to get walk of length three, then you need a triangle. The only possibility is triangle and because of triangle. Okay. You are getting two walks of length three. Okay. Because of one triangle, because of one triangle, you are getting two walks of length three. So these two points, if you combine, then you can see that all you have to do find M cube and then you find trace and then you divide by six. So finally, this is the point. This is the final conclusion. You can say that you can say that if you have underrated simple graph, then number of three length cycles, what is that? the number of three length cycles that is equal to that is equal to trace of m cube divided by six trace of m cube divided by six okay now something important i want to tell you like mavith is saying that similarly can we find similarly can i can i do this that four length cycle is equal to can i do this can I do this four length cycle is equal to this? Can I do anyone want to suggest? Is this correct? Can I do this four length cycle is equal to trace of M power four divided by six or something divided by like some, some different value. Maybe can I do this? This is not correct. <laughs> this is not correct. Why this is not correct. See very simple observation because four length cycles, you can get even because of one age. Are be, because of one is also you can get a four length walk. 
you can get a four length walk you can get four length walk from a you can go to b from b you can go to a from a you can go to b from b you can go to a is this clear tell me okay let me know is this clear to everyone so this will not work four length cycle this is not going to work this will not work for five length cycle also okay so did you understand that for four length cycle work it it will not work did you understand this please tell me did you understand that this will not work if you want to find for example four length walk because you can get four length walk because of only a's only okay you can get this is a four length walk now 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 so will it work for odd length cycle like if i if i have length five then can i do this okay let's see like for example divide by 10 maybe divide by 10 maybe so can i do this will it work will it work if i if i do something like this if i do something like this will it work yes very good three length cycle also can be five length walk very good alaf very good this also will not work because if you have three length cycle that also can create five length walk okay this cycle also can create five length walk this also can create five length walk that you can go from a to b to c okay uh, from a to b to c then you can go to a then you can go to b then you can go to a so you can see that you can go like this and like this so a to b to c to a to b to a so you can see five length walk is this understood now is this clearly understood that this will not work for anything else other than other than triangle this will not work other than triangle this will not work like if you if you say k cycle and then you do something like this let's assume 2k m power k this will not work only triangle only triangle is this crystal clear tell me is this crystal clear that it is working for triangle why it is working for triangle why it is not working for anyone else why it will only work for triangle it will not work for any other cycle it will not work for four length cycle five length cycle six length cycle it will not work for any other length cycle it will only work for three length cycle is this clear and why it is working for three length cycle tell me why that why you answer why it is working for three length cycle because the only person who can give you three length walk is three length cycle yes or no the only person the only structure who can give you three length walk from a to a is a triangle only triangle can give you three length walk okay only triangle can give you three length walk from a to a from a vertex to a vertex only triangle can give you three length walk and because of one triangle you are getting two walks from a to a when you have no self loop yes of course undirected simple graph so this is the final point this why is very important like why these things are happening so ultimately i hope you understood that this is the final point so i can say if your graph is undirected simple graph if you have undirected if you have undirected simple graph so your graph must be undirected and simple simple means no self loops no self loops so if you have undirected simple graph then this will happen the trace of a power 3 where a is a at the adjacency matrix that is the adjacency matrix this is it. i can say did you find that this is interesting application like this is interesting thing yes or no interesting application some good analysis okay so this is the point so trace will be equal to 6 into number of triangles in g that's it okay so like this you can do what about directed graph what about directed graph and one one more thing i want to tell you actually do you remember this question that we are solving that it will not work for any other cycle it will not work for any other cycle like k length cycle it will not work actually this is a standard question let me tell you this is a exercise question and one day it can come this is a exercise question in a standard university i think i think this was berkeley university i don't remember exactly but i think it was berkeley university berkeley 
okay this was the question so you can notice this this was exercise question that the interpretation of trace for a power k as counting certain works in does not work for k equal to 4 onwards it will only work for k equal to 3 yes or no correct or not so you can notice this i can say this trace this trace of uh, m power k divided by 2k and this is equal to number of k length cycles then if and only if what can you say this will work for only whom this will only work for whom this formula this formula if and only if i can say only for k equal to 3 this will work only for k equal to 3 that's it only for k equal to 3 it will not work for k equal to 4 onwards it will only work for k equal to 3 and this is a standard question okay correct so you can see in the gate exam you you can notice that in the gate exam they are they ask the question from the standard resources all these professors who are creating the gate questions remember these are not following any test series <laughs> okay all the all the professors they will create the gate questions and these professors in iit iisc these professors they all the time they follow standard resources they will follow their own resource their own book or they will follow some other standard book so all the time okay they are following standard resources standard books uh, like uh, let me let me tell you in iisc bangalore uh, when when i uh, when i went for mtech okay so uh, in my year uh, for linear algebra they followed david seale there is a book david seale the professor he followed david seale the reason is because before us our seniors uh, for our senior batch uh, same professor followed gilbert strang okay so basically the professor himself will tell you that last year we followed gilbert strang this year let's follow david seale are you getting my point even the professor is following different years he is following different books so you can see all these great professors you think about their mentality they are all the time they are solving the standard question from the standard resources from the standard books from the university they are solving the questions or i can say they are teaching the concepts uh, they are teaching the concepts from standard resources so when when you will tell them to create gate question then tell me naturally from where they will create when you will tell them that uh, create three or four gate questions create from graph theory give us four gate questions then from where they will create they will create from standard resources right yes or no so that is the reason in the, in go classes that is the reason remember in the go classes we solve standard book questions gate relevant questions of standard resources we solve all the time okay from all the books uh, like ulman uh, korth nawate corman pitlins sipser okay so all these books all these books that we have kenneth rosen so from all the standard books we are solving the gate relevant questions all the time in all the lectures in all the subjects we have done this okay and this happens actually let me tell you in go classes when we solve the standard questions the standard book questions when we solve there are many there are many uh, i can say who will criticize there are many students or i can say some teachers who will uh, basically influence the students they will criticize that see these are not teaching gate level okay in go classes they are solving the standard book question but standard books are not required for the gate exam the gate exam uh, is different standard books standard books are different you don't need standard books for the gate exam okay so something like that so students who are feeling that standard books are not needed for the gate exam they don't think about the professor mentality the professor who will create the question he is following standard resources to teach the concepts okay so he is surrounded by the standard resources so finally when when you will ask him to create the question he will create the question from the standard resources that is the reason in the go, in, in the go classes we always focus on standard resources questions okay you can see one aspirant is creating a test series in most of the coaching institutes aspirants will create the test series okay some some student who is preparing for the gate exam uh, who is who already has some rank maybe 800 or 1000 uh, some rank uh, 800 around rank if you have then you you can join uh, as a test series creator so you can see on one hand the student is creating the test series gate aspirant is creating the questions on other hand standard resources professors are creating the questions which questions you will want to solve which questions will benefit you in the gate exam of course you should you should solve the standard questions and that is what you will find in the go go test series in gate or for test series in go classes test series this is what you will find the standard questions 
द सोल्यूशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन गेट रेलिवेंट स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन ओके दैट इज वॉट यू विल फाइंड इन द आवर गो क्लासेस टेस्ट सीरीज आवर वीकली क्विजेज एवरीवेयर ओके सो एनी वे लेट सी दिस सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ए स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट दिस फॉर्मुला रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मुला विल वर्क number of k length cycle is equal to trace of m power k divided by 2k this will only work for k equal to 3 only for k equal to 3 and this is a berkeley equation i forgot the source but this is a some i think it was berkeley but i i think it was berkeley okay so anyway let's move on so this we have seen now one thing so for the directed graph what can you say let's come to directed graph okay let's consider the directed simple graph now you have directed simple graph again no self loops okay directed simple graph again no self loops so you have directed simple graph like this type of graph you can take for example this graph is fine okay from a to b from b to a this graph is fine but this graph is not fine like this graph is not fine so this graph is fine okay this graph is also fine a to b b to c this this type of graph is also fine so directed simple graph we are discussing now you tell me for the directed simple graph again i am asking the same question if you want from a to a walk of length 3 who can give you this is a simple question that from a to a from a to a walk of length 3 who can give you you want walk of length 3 who can give you walk of length 3 tell me can i say there is other possibility mavit mavit is saying directed triangle walk of length 3 will be given by directed triangle can some other some, someone else can give you no only triangle can give you very simple observation will tell you that from a to a walk of length 3 okay that is who can provide only 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 a directed triangle can provide i can say only a directed triangle can provide correct only 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 a directed triangle can provide this walk of length 3 this observation done one observation is done correct okay if one observation is done now you tell me the second observation that is because of one triangle how many walks of length 3 you are getting one triangle is giving you how many walks of length 3 one triangle you have one triangle let's assume one triangle gives how many walks of length 3 from one to only one right yes or no gives only one triangle uh, only one walk of length 3 from a to a only one walk of length 3 from a to a okay from from a to a only one because if you have one triangle like for example a then b then c and then d okay if you have this one so you can easily some simple observation will tell you some simple observation you can see that this is the only walk of length 3 so you can notice from a to a so i can say from a to a what is the walk of length 3 what is the walk of length 3 that is a to b b to c c to a this is the only one right so one triangle will give you if you have one triangle one triangle can give you only one walk for, walk of length 3 from a to a so tell me one triangle has how many how much contribution how much contribution mavit is asking in this case two length cycle also detected no there is see no 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 even if you have two length cycle that does not matter see this one mavit look at this let's assume you have this one now you can notice that there is no there is no walk of length 3 from a to a in this you can notice there is no walk of length 3 from a to a can you notice there is no walk of length 3 from a to a so there is no problem is this clear mavit tell me there is no problem are you getting my point there is no problem are you uh, are you getting this point see this 
So if you have, for example, if you have A, B, C, and let's assume you have this. Now, how many triangles are there? A simple question. In this graph, look at this graph. In this graph, how many triangles are there? What is the number of triangles? First of all, you tell me. What is the number of triangles? Means three length, uh, three length cycles. Number of triangles means a number of three length cycles. So how many three length cycles are there? There are two three length cycles. We have total two three length cycle. One is this and another is this three uh, total two three length cycle. Now you can easily see that how many walks from A to A? Tell me walks from A to A. How many three length walks from A to A? Tell me how many three length walks from A to A? The answer is only two. One is either you can go like this or you can go like this. Answer is two. Is this clear? Akas, Himansu, Mavit, please tell me, is this clear? So the final conclusion that we understood, that final conclusion that we can get is what I can say. Now you, one more, one more thing, one triangle. So this is what you can do. So uh, you have this graph. Now find trace. Again, you uh, sub first of all, you find M power three, right? I will find M power three, correct? Because I'm interested in walks of length three. So I will find M power three. Now, again, you observe trace. Again, you observe trace of M power three, trace of M power three. Again, you observe this. So tell me if you observe this one, because of one triangle, how much contribution? One triangle contribution. One triangle contribution. That is how much? In trace of M power three. In this trace, one triangle will give you how much contribution? The contribution will be three, right? One triangle contribution will be three because, because if you take one triangle, A, B, C, let's consider this triangle. Okay. Because of this triangle, you can notice a, if you look at the trace, then in M power three, in M power three, this is A, B, C, this is A, B, C. You can notice that. So you will get one here, one here, one here. So can you notice because of one triangle, only one triangle you have, there is only one triangle. And because of one triangle, you are getting a, uh, it is a making a contribution of three, right? Yes or no? Making a contribution of three. So this is the, I can say one triangle is contribution of three. Interest of M power three. So what should be the final conclusion? Tell me. So what is the final conclusion that, that I can make? I can make that if you have a G in this G, what I can say, uh, let's assume M is the adjacency matrix. This M that is the adjacency matrix. Then in this situation, what is the number of three length cycles? What are the number of three length cycles? Number of three length cycles will be just find the trace of M power three and divide by three. Simple, right? Yes or no? Now, are you finding these things interesting and simple? All these applications, these are interesting and these are simple applications. Once you understand. Okay. So this is the final conclusion. Again, will it work for anything else? Again, will it work for anything else like K length cycle? Will it work for four length cycle? Will it work for four length cycle? No. Again, it will not work for four length cycle. It will not work for five length cycle, six length cycle. It will only work for three length cycle. Again, you can easily check that it will not work for four length cycle because four length cycle, you can easily get even, even using this, even using this also, you can get four length cycle, but there is no four length cycle. See, there is no four length triangle or uh, sorry, uh, there is no four length cycle, but still you can get a four length walk. In this, there is no four length cycle, but still you can get a four length walk. So this will not work for anything else. This will only work for this one. So three length cycle will be equal to trace of MQ divided by three. So this is your chapter. Okay. So this is your application and uh, we have seen everything. Now let's move on. So final, uh, this is actually my answer on the get Overflow website. If you have seen this, this is the screenshot of my answer. I uploaded this answer, I think, um, 
Okay. Like you can check it out. But anyway, this is what we have seen. So why this, why I have answered, like, what is the reason this is happening? So the number of triangles in undirected simple graph is exactly the trace of a cube divided by six and why it is happening. This proof we have seen. Okay. This proof we have seen. So this, why we have done similarly for the directed graph, what happens if you have simple directed graph, then it will be trace divided by three. Okay. So it will be basically we divide the trace by three to find the number of three length cycle in a, uh, so very simple. So that's it. So this was the application. Now let's see the next application. That is application number six. Okay. And that is transitive closure. Okay. Have you heard about this? What is transitive closure of a relation? You have some relation. What is transitive closure of that relation? So in that also, it is the application. It is also the application of adjacency matrix. So that we will see in the next lecture. Because I need to tell you what is closer. Then I need to tell you what is reflexive closer, symmetric closer, transitive closer. So these things I will tell you. So this we will discuss in the next lecture, this application we will discuss, but let me tell you this application you have already understood. Okay. This transitive closure, finding transitive closure of a relation. This is application of adjacency matrix. We will do power of adjacency matrix, but let me tell you this. You have already understood. Okay. The idea you have already understood, but we will see this in the next lecture. So this will become very easy for you. Once, uh, whatever you have seen so far using that, using that, uh, this has become very easy for you. Okay. So that's it. Now we will solve all the gate PYQs of this topic. Shall we start? Can you take your copy pen? Can you take your copy pen and shall we start before we start these? So let me, uh, uh, Okay. Yeah. Only these applications. Yeah. Okay. So only six actually in a, in some of them, I've, I've told you two, two like Mavit in the application number five, I've told you two application one for directed one for undirected. Okay. So if you find the total, then total will be, I think eight or nine applications will be there. But in one application, I've told you multiple applications. Like you can notice in the application number five, I told you for undirected graph. I told you for directed graph. Okay. So like that. Anyway, so one more thing I want to just clarify. This is something I want to clarify yesterday. Do you remember uh, if you have undirected graph and how to check whether it is connected or not? So this we have seen that. Uh, do you remember this? Uh, do you remember this yesterday? We have seen this uh, last lecture. In the last lecture, I told you how to check uh, this. Uh, if you have undirected graph, if G is an undirected graph, if this is undirected graph, this can be simple or any basically self loops are fine. Self loops are fine. Self loop allowed. Okay. May or may not be. So this is an undirected graph in this, what you will do uh, to check connectedness to check connectedness. Whether it is connected or not. So what you will do, you will find M power one plus M power two plus M power three and so on M power N minus one. Correct. Yes or no. So this is what I want to tell you that this is correct. Don't worry. This is like, this is correct. But first of all, let's see for the directed graph for the directed graph. Let's see for the directed graph. I told you, we check is strongly connected. Okay. For the directed graph, what we do? We check the strongly connected to check for a strongly connected. We do this is strongly connected. And for that, we go till N yes or no. We go till N this, this we have already seen that we have to go till N. So this, we have already seen that you calculate this, you calculate this in this, what you will do in this, what should happen in this all non zero entries, all non zero. I can say no zero in this. I can say no zero entry implies strongly connected implies is strongly connected and in strongly connected implies this. Okay. Strongly connected will imply this. If you have no zero. Okay. If there is no zero, if there is no zero entry, then this will happen. Now this is for directed graph. We have already seen in the last lecture. What was the method number two? What was method number two? There was method number two that uh, that method was this method. Number two was this, that what you do. You do M plus identity matrix, basically make self loop, adding self loop. Very good. Okay. Just put all the self loop. Then you do power N. Then you do this power N where this N is basically number of vertices. 
this n is number of vertices okay so this is what you do this is your method too but for undirected graph this formula we have seen this is what we have seen for undirected graph this is what we have seen and i told you that again the same thing if there is no zero entry then it implies connected it implies your graph is connected and if it is connected then there is no zero entry so this we have seen so tell me one thing so basically uh, in this what you are doing in this basically you are doing that you are finding walk of length 1 to walk of length n minus 1 right do you agree that basically you are checking walk of length 1 or walk of length 2 or walk of length 3 or walk of length 4 and so on so tell me even if we find something extra will it change something if we find something like if we find walk of length and will it change anything it is duplicate right yes or no it will be duplicate it will not change anything do you agree do you agree it will not change anything because we are checking walks of length one or two or three or n minus one this will be redundant so this is also fine this is also fine so this is also fine okay this is what i want to tell you now now let me tell you that actually this this will work only when n is greater than or equal to 2 okay this when you take okay uh, till n minus 1 this will work only when n is n should be great sorry n should be greater than or equal to 3 it will not work when n is 2 let me tell you why i will tell you why don't worry so let me also tell you the reason what is the reason that so this this formula this actually this will work when you have n greater than or equal to 3 the reason is, for example, if you have n equal to 2, consider this graph, consider this graph a, b. Now you can easily see for this graph, n is n equal to 2. Then uh, what is n minus 1? n minus 1 is 1, right? So for this graph, what you will do? How to check connectedness? How will you check connectedness? Tell me. Connectedness. How will you do that? How will you check this connectedness? You will, you will find m power 1 only because n power 1 n minus 1 is 1 so you will find n power 1 only but you can notice that in m power 1 the entry will be like this 0 1 1 0 correct you can notice this is connected but still non uh, but still you can notice see can you see this is connected this graph is connected but still you have zero entries yes or no still you have zero entries are you getting my point the graph is connected still there are zero entries so you can notice this will not work. I can say when you have n equal to 2, this will not work. This will work from n greater than or equal to 3. This will not work for n equal to 2. Why it is working for n greater than or equal to 3? I told you in the last class why it is working for n greater than or equal to 3. Why for n greater than or equal to 3 it is working? Tell me why this, why this is working like m power 1, m power 2 and so on, m power n minus 1. If it is non-zero, entry implies connected and this implies this. So why for n greater than or equal to 3 it is working anyone? This I told you in the last class. Because of this because of this see this m power 2 itself will consider see actually what is the problem this is the problem that a to a b to b these are not covered yes or no do you agree these are not covered this is the problem that a to a b to b this is not covered but if you have m power 2 this will cover those do you do you remember if you have m power 2 this will cover basically in this m power 2 all diagonals will be what Tell me all diagonals will be what? If you have connected graph, all diagonal entries will be what? If you have connected graph, all diagonal entries will be what? Tell me, tell me. All diagonal entries will be what? In this m power 2, all diagonal entries will be non-zero for connected graph. For connected graph, all these will be non-zero. Yes or no? Yes or no? So in this m power 2, yes, that is degree. Yes, very good. Okay, that will be basically degree. But 
uh, that will be degree uh, for uh, when you have no self loop. If you have no self loop, then it will tell you degree. Correct. Uh, Himansu, do you remember? If you have no self loop, then it will give you degree. If you have self loop, then what do you have to do to find degree? If you have self loop, then what you have to do to find a degree, you have to do m square plus m. Okay, m square plus m. Right, correct. m square plus m. That is what you have to do in the last lecture. We have already seen. So, this is just I want to tell you that because of this m square, things are happening correctly. But here you don't have m square. The problem is the problem with n equal to 2 is here you don't have m square. Clear? Is this clear to everyone? So, anyway, a simple point that for n greater than equal to 3, it will work. Okay, Mavit, is this clear? See, because you have n equal to 2, so if you calculate m power 1 to m power n, m power n minus 1, because n minus 1 is 1, so that will be only uh, m power 1, right? Yes or no? I am just telling you that this method, is this clear? I am just telling you that this method, this method, this method will work when you have n greater than equal to 3. So this method, like m power 1, m power 2, m power 3, m power n minus 1. This method will work when you have n greater than equal to 3. Okay. And so, so this method will work when you have n greater than equal to 3. Now, what I am, uh, also I am saying that, yes, this method will work for all n. Or you, this is what you can do. m power n plus m power n, this is what you can do. So this will also work for n equal to 2 also it will work. Are you getting my point? If you have one directed graph, then it will work even, even if you have for any n. It will work for any n. So this is a simple observation. This is not a big thing. This is not a big thing, but this is a simple observation that I wanted to tell you. That's it. Okay. So let's move on now. These things, will you remember? Will you remember these things? All these applications, all these results, will you remember? Don't remember these things. Just understand. Okay. Because if you remember, you will definitely forget. All these things you cannot remember. Himansu, Himansu is thinking that he can remember. But I can tell you that after 10 days, you can prove it. See, once you understand, you can prove it. You can spend some 2-3 minutes and you can prove it. Himansu. But you will not be able to remember it immediately. Okay. On top of, on, on top of your mind, you will not be able to remember it. But you can prove it once you understand. Like everything that we have seen, all these proofs are very interesting proofs. You can, uh, you can immediately, you can prove, for example, in the gate exam, if some question comes, then, uh, you can spend two or three minutes. You can spend and you will get the correct answer. Even if you forget some result, some application, even if you forget, then also there is no problem because that is the power of understanding. Once you understand something, then you can prove it in the gate exam. You can prove it. Okay. So it will take maybe two, three minutes. It will take, and you can get the answer. Okay. So just understand. Understanding is very important. If you understand there's then, then there is no problem. So that's it. So, uh, and there was one more result. What was that? What, what was another method? The another method was M plus identity matrix power N minus one. This was another method adding self loop. Okay. This method was basically this method was basically adding self loop, adding self loops. This was an interesting idea, right? I, I hope that you found this. This was a smart idea. This adding self loop. It will take any, any walk to a walk of uh, length exactly n minus one. That is the interesting point. See, if you add all the self loops, if you do this, this is a smart way. If you do all the self loops, then what can happen? Then basically all the walks you can take to length n minus one. If you have walk of any length, then you can create a walk of length exactly n minus one. So that is the smart method. This is something smart. Okay. You know, there is a meme nowadays, uh, chalak bro, both chalak. So that is the, that is similar to that. So you can introduce, you are adding the self loops so that every walk you can, uh, you can, uh, you can convert into a walk of length n minus one. Okay. So something like that. So you can check it. So here you can write both chalak, both chalak bro. Okay. Chalak bro, both chalak. Now let's see next move on.
So now let's see the gate questions. So take your copy pen because you are going to solve them. All the gate questions on powers of adjacency matrix. Let's see this. Let's start with, uh, let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. Tell me this is gate 2022 latest question, question number 27, a uh, latest question. The question is saying you have simple undirected unweighted graph. You have a simple undirected graph. Okay. With at least three vertices, there are at least three vertices. Okay. A is adjacency matrix of the graph. The number of three cycles in the graph is given by the trace of. So the answer will be trace of a cube divided by six. The answer will be option D. Yes or no. Correct. Because you know, this is an undirected simple graph. It is undirected simple graph undirected and simple graph. So it simply means that if you have walk of length three, walk of length three from A to A, how can you get walk of length three from A to A? How can you get, you can get only from triangle. Okay. Or you can only get from a triangle from triangle. You can get this walk, walk of length three from A to A. If you want, then you can get only from triangle. This is the only way to get. And if you have walk of length three, then it automatically means there is a triangle. So this, uh, this, I can say <clears throat> this kind of, if you have walk of length three, if you have walk of length three, then there is a triangle, correct? Walk of length three from A to A, you have walk of length three from A to A, then there is triangle. And if you have triangle, then you have walk of length three. So this is the observation. So from this observation, you can easily see that the trace divided by six, because one triangle will give you how much? One triangle will give you how much uh, contributes. What is the contribution of one triangle? Contributes. Uh, one triangle will contribute value of six in the trace. In the trace of a cube. Okay. So this is what it will do. So you can notice one triangle. If you have one triangle, one triangle will contribute a value of six in the trace of a cube. So that is the reason number of triangles, number of three length cycles will be a cube divided by six. Very simple. Isn't it? Some observers, some, uh, some, uh, variations, the question can ask you, what is the variation? What is one possible variation? If I remove it and if I make it under uh, directed graph, let's remove this. Let's remove this directed graph. So if this is directed graph, then what is the answer? If you have a directed graph, then the answer will be option C because you have a directed graph. So in this situation, the answer will be option C. So these we have seen, and this is the analysis, the complete analysis we have already seen. I told you what was application number. This we have seen in which application application number five, I think it was our application number five. So in application number five, we have seen this. Similarly, this also we have seen in application number five. Okay. Let's, let's see the next question. This question, question number. See, this is also in 2022 in the same paper. They should not do this. Of course, right in the same paper, you are giving, um, many questions, multiple questions, like four marks, four marks only based on adjacency matrix for marks. There was another question on adjacency matrix. Let me tell you like these two questions are based on ad adjacency matrix power. And there is another question, but that is related to spanning tree. Okay. Total three questions based on adjacency matrix, total three questions in the same paper in gate 2022, three questions on adjacency matrix Two uh, one question. We have seen this like one question is this one. This we have done. The answer is option D. And another question is this one. And there is another question on spanning tree. Okay. So let's see this one. So tell me the answer. So which of the following properties hold for adjacency matrix a for simple undirected graph, you have simple undirected graph on having n vertices. So the question you have simple undirected graphs. So the question is saying the diagonal entries of a square are the degrees of vertices. That is correct. This was which application? This was application one. 
this we have seen in application number one, right? Application number one. This we have already seen that the diagonal entries of a square. These are the degrees of vertices. This we have already seen. So this statement is correct. Okay. In this uh, one variation also is possible. In this, if simple is removed, if this simple is removed, and self loops are allowed, let's assume like self loops allowed. If let's assume if self loops allowed, if this is given that self loops allowed, let's assume. Okay, if this is given, let's assume. Let's assume it is given. In the question, let's assume it is given that self loops are allowed. If loops are allowed, if self loops are allowed, then you can say that a square plus a, the diagonal entries of a square plus a. Then you don't okay. Then you have to do a square plus a. So here you have to write a square plus a. This will be the answer. This will give you degree of all the vertices. A square plus a. Correct. Okay. So this is like another variation. Okay. What about the next option? If graph is connected, then none of the entries of a power n minus one plus i n can be zero. See some this application we have seen, but this is not same as that. Okay, this we have seen. If you remember, we have proven it. What we have proven? We have proven that for the second for the option B, we have proven that if you have a simple directed graph, if you have a simple undirected graph, or actually you don't need simple, only undirected graph is enough. So if you have underrated graph, we have already seen this. What was the property? If you check connectedness, how to check connectedness? Smart method. Tell me the smart method. How to check the connectedness? What was the smart method? Add, add self loop. Yes or no? The adding self loop was a smart method. So what you can do? You can calculate adjacency matrix plus identity matrix, power n minus one. Okay, power n minus one. Now, in this, if you have no zero entries, in this, if you have no zero entries, then connected. In this, if you have no zero entries, then connected, and connected means no zero entries, right? This method, do you remember? This method is basically adding self loops. Smart Chalak method, adding self loops, adding self loops, and the idea you understood, right? This is a smart method. This is very smart. I can say Chalak method, but the idea you understood. So you can see M plus I N. So in this question, they have, they have done something like, uh, uh, just to maybe see, maybe they are trying that if someone has by hearted, if there is some student who has by hearted, then maybe they will take it. They will take it. This is not that yes or no, this and this, they are separate. First, you have to add self loop. Then you have to take power N power N minus one. The same option will be correct. If you do this, the same option, remember the same option will be correct. Uh, let me, let me say the same option will be correct. If they do this, what they have to do, tell me what they have to do here, what they have to do. They have to do just a plus I n power n minus one, a plus I n power n minus one. Then this will be correct. Okay, then this will be correct. All they have to do, just do this a plus i n power n minus one. This is what they have to do. So once they do this, then this will be correct. Okay. So this is basically the variations. I am telling you all the variations that are possible. What are the variations that are possible? This is what I am telling you. Okay. So now let's see. So this statement is false, but can you prove it? Like in the gate exam, how will you do this? How will you do this in the gate exam? Basically, how will you do this? This option B in the gate exam, how will you do in the gate exam? You can take a graph and you can see that you can take a connected graph and still this can be false. Okay. Still this, this can be false. For example, this option B for this option B, you can actually take this graph. Consider this a B for this graph. Tell me what will happen. Like if you have this graph, okay, uh, none of the entries can be zero if it is connected. So for this, it will not work. Maybe you can take ABC. Maybe you can take this. Consider this graph. Now this is a connected graph. 
this is a connected graph okay see uh, but okay what tell me one thing what this actually gives you a power n plus i n actually what it gives you tell me before we solve this question you tell me the analysis of this option b what this actually gives you if you have any graph a power n plus i n this will basically add the self loops yes or no basically this will make sure that uh, this will make sure that diagonal entries are non zero it will make sure that diagonal entries will be non zero okay so because of this all the diagonal entries will become non zero because of this one oh what about this one what this is giving you what this is giving you this is already giving you what this is giving you n minus 1 length walks yes or no number of n minus 1 length walks correct or not this is giving you number of n minus 1 length walks between every pair of vertices so ultimately what this is doing ultimately ultimately what can i say Total, totally what this is doing totally like if you combine these two then in total what they are doing in if you combine these two then what this in those option b what this is doing look at this and tell me what this is doing this is basically giving you it is giving you like uh if a is not equal to b then this is giving you number of walks of length one c this is what it is going if a is not equal to b then what it is doing then it is doing then then entry a, a b what is that tell me then entry a b what is that that is equal to if a is not equal to b then entry a b that is equal to number of walks okay then that is equal to number of n minus 1 length walks from a to b correct Okay, it will give you this. And if you have a comma a, what about entry a comma a? What about entry a comma a? That will be what? Number of walks plus one, right? Yes or no? It will be one plus number of n minus one length walks. So tell me, did you understand this option B, this parameter, did you understand what this is doing? Did you understand this one? What this is actually doing? So for a comma a, this is just adding plus one. It is just adding plus one for a comma a and for, uh, for other, like if a is not equal to B, then it is not doing anything. Okay. Very simple. This is what it is doing. Now you can easily see that you can consider this counter example. This is connected, but what your graph will be? For a comma a, what this will give you? This will give you one plus number of walks of, uh, here you can notice n equal to three. So n minus one will be equal to two. So number of two length walks. Two length walks is only this one. So you can notice this will give you two, correct? Because it will give you one plus one. This two is basically one plus one. Okay. This is basically one plus one. Now, what about this b comma b? This b comma b will be three. 1 plus 2. Okay, this will be basically 1 plus 2 because there are two walks of length 2. There is one walk like this, there is one walk like this. For C, it will be 2. What will be from A to B? How many walks of length 2? From A to B, how many walks of length 2? Please tell me. Please tell me how many walks of length 2 from A to B? That is 0. That's it. Okay, that's it. So here you can see from B to A, how many walks of length 2? That is 0. From B to C, how many walks of length 2? That is 0. Okay, so you can see from C to A, how many? Uh, so that's it. So you can notice connected, but still there are some non-zero entries. It is connected, but non-zero entries exist. Sorry, zero entries exist. Zero entries, they exist, correct or not? Zero entries, they are existing. So definitely this option B is false. So this option B that is a false. I hope this point is clear. This option B analysis, did you understand what this option B is doing? What this parameter is doing? This A power N minus one plus I N. 
Did you understand this? Please tell me. Let me know. What this is doing, this a power n minus 1 plus i n, what this is doing. Okay, so very good. Now, this is the analysis of option B. So, option B is basically wrong. What about option C? If sum of all elements is at most 2 into n minus 1, if sum of all elements of A is at most 2 n minus 1, then the graph must be as cyclic. And this is very easy false. Because of this at most word, you can very easily make it false. What do you can do? You can take, you can take a cyclic graph, but large number of vertices. Like, see, what you can do? You can easily make it false. This option C, this option C, you can easily make it false. You can easily create a counter example. This is saying that, this option C is saying that, if, uh, this is saying that if basically all the entries, the summation of entire A, if summation of entire A is at most 2 into n minus 1, summation of entire A is this, then n, then this is cyclic. Then, then G as cyclic. This you can easily make false because of this, because of this symbol, because of at most 1. What you can do? You can consider this type of example. You can take a cycle. What you do the remaining A, D, E, F. So basically you can make it very large. Are you getting my point? Are you understanding what I'm saying? I am saying you just, you just make it very large. This two into N minus one, you just make it very large unnecessarily. Unnecessarily A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Unnecessarily you can make it very large. Now you can easily see that this summation A, what it will be for this example, for this graph. For this graph, what will be summation A? What will be all the entries summation? That will be basically, tell me what, what the all entries summation will be. So you can check it out like uh, it will be, uh, I think it will be six. It will be six. Okay, you can check it out. But this value, what this value is? But this value is two into like three, three, a, a, uh, three, three, six, six, two, eight. So, so this value is basically 14. But this is still not cyclic. Yes or no? This is not as cyclic. See, this option is very easy to prove false. Correct or not? Because, because of this word in the gate exam, when you see this, like at most 2n minus 1, if you have at most 2n minus 1, if you have this summation, you can easily make it a counter example. You can just simply, you can make it very large. This value you can make very large and you can take a simple cycle. So this type of counter example, you can create this type of counter example. You can easily create. Okay. So this is like this. Now, what about the next? What about this next? So like Mavit is asking, is there any property related to trees? We will have to check. Actually, I, I did not come, uh, come across any property Mavit, as I told you, all the applications that we have seen. These are the applications I have found in at least I can say maybe four or five books, four or five standard books, standard articles. Okay. In those, all these applications I found, and let me tell you only these applications I found. Okay. There is one another, another application related to eigenvalues, but that you will find as a question in the test series. Okay. So that is a simple thing. Like it's not complicated. Basically adjacency matrix eigenvalues, what they tell you. Okay. So that is something interesting. So uh, for that, we have created a question in the mock test. In the mock test, you will find that question. Okay. So that question has been created in which basically we are, we have given you adjacency matrix and uh, some options are given to you. You have to find the eigenvalues and what these eigenvalues are telling you about the graph. Okay. The adjacency matrix eigenvalues you find these eigenvalues of the adjacency matrix, what information they give you about the graph. Some kind of question we have created for you. Uh, you can attempt it. Okay. So uh, in the in the test series, you can try this. In the Go classes test series, in mock test, this question has been created and it has been put. Okay. So that question don't 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 do some uh, C. Uh, try that in the mock test. Before the mock test, don't try to search. Okay. Give yourself a chance to attempt the question. Okay. Is this clear? Give yourself a chance to check your analytical skills because in the gate exam, tell me how complicated it is in the gate exam. They can give you right that this is the adjacency matrix. What the eigenvalue will give you the eigenvalue, what information the eigenvalue will give you. Okay. So this type of question, the gate exam can create. 
So give yourself a chance. If I teach you all the applications that are in the world, the gate professor can create some other application. So remember teaching everything is not good. I teach you everything like uh, everything I teach you that is not good for yourself, for you. That is not good because in the gate exam, they can give you something else. Instead, what you can do, you can improve your analytical skills. Instead, you can improve your problem solving skills, improve the problem solving skills so that any question comes in the gate exam. You can, you can do that. And this is what we have done from the day one, from the first lecture, from the first lecture. This is what we have done. Just improve your problem solving skills. Just improve your analytical skills. That is, that is the reason because in the gate exam, it will help you. Okay. So let's move on. Now tell me about the option D. What are option D? If there is at least one A in each row and column, then graph must be connected. This is interesting option. Actually, if there is at least one, one in each or in each row, in each column, then graph must be connected. This is interesting option. And actually this is not very hard. You can easily see this is also false. Can you create a graph which is disconnected? But still every row and every column has a, a, has a one. Can you create this type of graph? Can you create a disconnected graph? Can you create, take one minute and create, can you create disconnected graph such that, such that adjacency matrix has one, uh, in this adjacency matrix, take, take, take your copy pen and try this adjacency matrix has. Okay. So uh, this, so this D D D is disconnected adjacency matrix. Can you give me example where this type of graph is there? Create a disconnected graph for which for which in a Every row, every column has one, every row, every column has at least one, one. Can you create this type of graph? Very easily you can create like, okay, before creating the graph, you create this before creating the graph. Let's create this type of thing like ABCD, ABCD. You can create this. For example, let's do this. So you can actually easily see that. For example, let's assume, let's assume a is related to B. So B is automatically related to a. So a is related to B. B is automatically related to a. Now C is related to D. So D is related to C. That's it. Every row has one. Every column has one. Isn't it disconnected graph is disconnected. Graph is disconnected. Every row has one. Every column has one. That's it. So graph is disconnected, but it's still, so this option is false, right? Yes or no. If every, if, if there is at least one, one entry in each row and column, then graph must be connected. This is definitely false. Okay. This is false. So this is your question gate 2022. This is the analysis. Now, let me tell you one thing in the gate exam. Do you think you could have done this question in the gate exam during the gate exam? You think you could have done this question. Do you think? Let me tell you the answer is yes. You could have done this question. Let me tell you. Don't, don't, uh, I can say, uh, don't demotivate yourself. See, you could have done this question. Let me tell you why, because simple, simple counter examples, simple, simple examples and counter examples. You could have done this question. This was a MSQ question. Okay. And you could have done this question easily. As you can see, for option D, there is a simple counter example. For option C, there is a simple counter example. For option B, also there is a counter example. So simple, simple examples you can take and you can solve this question. Okay. Yes, it will be time taking in the gate exam. During the gate exam, this question uh, could have taken time. Okay, could have taken time. So during the gate exam, this type of questions, if come, then remember because there are four options. There are four options. Each option has a different, uh, each op each option is different. Each option is a question in itself. If this type of something, if this type of things happen, let me tell you, this is my suggestion that this type of question you should do at the end. Okay. 
whenever you see this type of question in the gate exam whenever you see this type of question then this is my suggestion this is my suggestion that you do this type of question where basically it is a msq question and every option is very separate from each other yes or no can you notice every option is very separate from each other very different from each other every option is a question so this type of uh, question uh, you have no idea of this question let's assume in the gate exam let's assume you have no idea about this question this is the first time you are looking at this question then you should do you should attempt this question at the end this is my suggestion this question you must attend uh, you must attempt at the end okay at the end of the uh, your test in, in the last uh, in the last 5 minutes you can try this question okay so let's move on but this question was easy right yes uh, this question this question number of three length cycle this was actually easy question in the gate exam you can solve it very easily actually in during gate exam during gate exam how can you solve this question very easily actually during gate exam this question you can solve by a single is by by taking a simple triangle just take just take a simple triangle and calculate during the gate exam you can solve this question by taking this graph take this graph and then you find a cube find a cube find a cube then find a trace then automatically you will see that answer is option 6 the answer is this so this is how you can do during the gate exam okay so mavith is asking that sir did you attempt gate 2022 paper yes i attempted it okay uh, and this question was correct for me and this question was also correct for me so but let me tell you one thing even when i was attempting the gate exam i also attempted this question at the end okay this question i also attempted almost at the end uh, basically in the gate 2022 there was some problem uh, my health was not good so that is the reason after half of the exam i uh, went from uh, basically i got out from the uh, exam hall anyway so let's see this question this is another interesting question gate 2021 can you try this one read this question and tell me what is the answer this is gate 2021 so you have a graph which is undirected unweighted connected graph see it is a connected graph these words are very important it is a connected graph it is undirected graph so this is something that is given to you you know what is diameter diameter definition is given to you what is diameter diameter is basically the maximum of all the shortest lengths the maximum value of among all the distances okay that is the diameter diameter definition is already given to you m is the adjacency matrix of g this is the adjacency matrix okay now what you are doing you are creating a new graph you are creating a new graph on the same set of vertices you are creating a new graph with adjacency matrix is n and what this adjacency matrix is basically what you are doing in this n what you are doing you are doing this if m i j is greater than 0 then you keep it 1 okay or a very p is m square remember p is m square this p is m square and or p i j is greater than 0 then you make it 1 otherwise you make it zero okay so this is the this is that is given to you and the question is asking the relation between diameter of g2 and diameter of g this relation the question is asking diameter of g and diameter of g2 let's solve this question in this question what this he is saying so there is a graph g first of all there is a original graph g which is undirected connected undirected connected these words are given to you for this graph there is a adjacency matrix that is m okay this adjacency matrix is given to you now what you are doing you are creating a new adjacency matrix before that you tell me what is p p is m square in the question p is given to you p is m square look at p so tell me what is p what is m square can you tell me what is p what is this p p is m square what this p is giving you so p basically tells us what p p tells us what number of two length walks very good okay so it tells you number of two length walks number of 
टू लेंथ वॉक्स बिटवीन एवरी पेयर ऑफ वर्टिसेस राइट बिटवीन एवरी पेयर ऑफ वर्टिसेस सो बिटवीन एवरी पेयर ऑफ वर्टिसेस टू लेंथ वॉक्स हाउ मेनी टू लेंथ वॉक्स आर देयर दिस इज वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज सेंग ओके सो बिटवीन एवरी पेयर ऑफ वर्टिसेस दिस एम स्क्वायर दिस इज गिविंग यू द नंबर ऑफ हाउ मेनी टू लेंथ वॉक्स यू हैव बिटवीन एवरी पेयर ऑफ वर्टिसेस ओके वन मोर थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू हियर फॉर डिफरेंट वर्टिसेज वेन कैन यू हैव टू लेंथ वॉक्स फॉर डिफरेंट वर्टिसेज वेन कैन यू हैव टू लेंथ वॉक्स इफ लाइक इफ यू हैव ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी देन हाउ कैन यू हैव टू लेंथ वॉक देर इज ए देर इज बी हाउ कैन यू हैव टू लेंथ वॉक नो देर इज नो सेल्फ लुप द क्वेश्चन इज अंड ओके सो अंडायरेक्टेड कनेक्टेड राइट ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन this information is not given whether it is self loop is there or not simple graph or not but see uh, by default you can consider simple graph okay by default you can always consider simple graph there is no problem because if they want to give you self loop they should mention it in the graph theory let me tell you in the graph theory even all the books all the standard books they by default assume that graph is simple graph this is a by default assumption in the graph theory in every book okay this is the by default assumption so if they want to give you self loops then definitely they should give you i can say this uh, this information should be given okay so now you tell me if a is not equal to b how can you have two length walk from a to b from a to b how can you have two length walk the only possibility is the only possibility is this how can you have two length walk from a to b the only possibility is something like this yes or no this is the only possibility if you want two length walk from a to b this is the only possibility okay and what about when you have a comma a if you have a comma a like from a comma a what about from a comma a from vertex a to a two length walk how can you have two length walk what is the only possibility from a to a what is the only possibility for two length walk the only possibility is this the only possibility is that it has basically neighbor vertices the two length walk will come because of neighbor vertices it will come because of neighbors so how many two length walks you have that is number of neighbors yes or no i can say how many two length walks you have that is number of neighbors number of neighbors correct so two length walks will come because of neighbors so that is degree yes very good so that will be degree okay anyway so this is your p p is p is giving you number of two length walks this is what p is giving you okay now what the question is saying the question is saying that from g you are creating a new graph g dash you are creating a new graph g2 and how you are creating new graph so basically this g2 has adjacency matrix n this g2 this has adjacency matrix n and how you are creating adjacency matrix n from this m how are you creating this adjacency matrix n this definition is given to you that what you do see how you are creating adjacency matrix n basically you are doing this if this value is already greater than 0 then keep it 1 or 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 if this pij is greater than 0 then you keep it 1 so this pij that is basically p equal to m square P equal to m square. So you can see what what it is doing. Let me tell you what this is doing. This is basically do it. Uh, let me tell you, it is doing like this. Uh, let let me tell you. So either this is greater than zero or this is greater than zero. Then you keep it one. Else you keep it zero. So what it is doing actually? Let me tell you here. This is what you are doing. N i j is basically equal to M i j plus m square i j. Okay, you can you can think like this. It is basically this or this. This or this. See, let me explain this. Don't worry if you are not understanding. Let me explain this. What the question is saying? Let's uh, let's see that. So the question is saying that you are creating from you already have this m matrix. So this matrix m you have, and this p is equal to m square, and you are creating a new matrix. 
you are creating a new new matrix n you are creating and this in this n every value that you see every value what is that that is like this it is one when it is one it is one if mij is equal to one see if it is greater than zero means if it is non zero or or pij but remember pij is equal to you can notice if if i give you pij that is same as m square in ij okay so i can say that it is m square ij that is greater than zero so if this happens or this happens then you put zero then you put one then you put one okay otherwise you put zero otherwise you put zero what this actually means let me tell you this simply means that this simply means that either you have a direct walk this nij see see look at this what i can say i can say this nij when it will be one tell me this nij when it will be one when this means what this means look at this this means what it means i comma j have direct path they have direct connection yes okay so it means so either i can say i comma j are neighbors i can say yes or no either they are neighbors or what it means tell me what it means what it means it means or they have walk of length 2 so either they are neighbors or they have walk of length 2 either they are neighbors or they are basically i can say distance of 2 or they have distance of 2 so very simple either they have uh, either they are neighbors either they will be neighbors so either they will be neighbors or they have distance of 2 or both of them okay so uh, so uh, you can see so either they will be neighbor or they will have distance of two in this situation you put one in the new matrix otherwise zero so now let's understand this what this is saying this is doing like this so you have a graph let me assume that your graph is this for example a b c okay and let's assume d something like this this is your graph then for this graph you have matrix m okay for this g you have adjacency matrix m so what is your g2 Tell me what is your G2? Tell me what your G2 will be. G2 will be basically all these edges. You are not going anywhere, right? These edges are not going anywhere. These edges will not go anywhere. These edges will be the same as it, but you can notice you will put this as in the new graph. You will put this as why you are putting this as in the new graph because they have distance of two. They have distance of two. So you can put this as, for example, I can put F also. Now you can notice that you will put this as this a to d you will put this as because they have distance of two is this clear similarly you can notice there will be no as from a to f because there is no walk of uh, length two from a uh, from a to f so this as you will not put so what you will do this bf it will be put you will put this bf okay similarly this is cd also you will put because there is a walk of length two from c to d there is a walk of length two. So this is the graph that you will get. Are you getting my point? This is your G2 from G. This is the G2 that you will get. Please tell me, did you understand? Did you understand this one or did you not understand? See, okay. Let me tell you again, one more time. I'm telling you. So what is happening here? Basically this new matrix you are creating a new graph. You are creating a new graph. You are creating a new matrix. You are creating in this new matrix. You can notice. If you were previous neighbors, tell me if you were already neighbors in the graph G, then are you neighbor in new graph? Tell me if you were already neighbors in G, then are you neighbors in new graph? Yes. Okay. Because of this. So because of this means that if already neighbors, if I comma J neighbors, I can say if I comma J neighbors neighbors in G then so in then so in G2 in G2 also they will be neighbors distance one and what this is telling you this is telling you that in G if they have uh, if they have distance of two are you getting my point if they have walk of length two in G if they have walk of length two then also you you keep them neighbor then also they will become neighbor 
Okay, are you getting my point? In G, you can notice in G, if I comma J have distance to have distance to then in G2 they neighbor they become neighbor. Then in G2, I comma J neighbor. This is what is happening here. I hope you understood what is happening in this question. Okay. And else, else you keep it zero. Else you keep it zero. Very simple. So this is the simple thing that is happening. So let me just write it. What is happening from G? How are you getting G2? Let me write it. So you have this G and how you are getting this G2 from this G you are getting this G2 keep, keep edges same, keep existing edges same, keep existing edges and make edge, make edge if distance to. Okay. And make A's if distance to in G. Ankit is asking why it is greater than zero. Why it is greater than zero? Because see, this will give you number of walks. This will give you number of walks. Number of walks can be more than number of walks can be, for example, it can be two, three, five. Yes or no. This is giving you number of walks. This M square, it will give you number of walks and that can be anything. See this, it will give you number of walks. How many walks are there of two length? So that is the reason this value, this value, this, this PIJ, this value can be, for example, four, five, six, 10, it can be anything. Yes or no? This value can, can be anything. That is the reason. Okay. That is the reason this greater than zero is given. It simply means that there is at least one walk. Greater than zero means at least one walk. So what this greater than zero means, let me tell you. This greater than zero means simply that there is at least one walk one walk of length two. There is uh, at least one walk of length two between I comma J. This is what this statement is saying. Is this clear Ankit? Okay. So very simple. So now is this question clear? Is this conclusion clear to everyone? What is happening in the new graph that you keep the existing edges, all, all existing edges you keep and make new edge if distance is two. Make a new edge if distance is two. Mavid is asking, sir, adjacency matrix should only contain zero comma one as entry, right? Yeah, that's correct. That is the reason he is putting one. See, that is the reason. Look at this. In the p square is not adjacency matrix. This p m square is not adjacency matrix. Mavid, Mavid, Mavid. M square is not adjacency matrix. Adjacency matrix will have zero comma one. That is the reason. See what he is doing. He is doing one comma zero. Whatever value you have just put one comma zero. He is putting one comma zero. The point that you are saying that is correct. That is the reason. That is the reason he is just putting one or one or zero. Finally, whatever number of walks you have, I don't care how many walks you have, just put one comma zero. Clear? Is this clear? So this basically it automatically means adjacency. It it only means adjacency. I hope this point is clear. Anyone has any other doubt? Alap, AP, KS, Himansu, Akas, any, any doubt? Tell me in this question, do you have any other doubt? Whatever doubt you have, you, you can ask. Don't keep any doubt. Just like everything is very, uh, everything is very uh, good. Actually in this question, everything is given. This is a beautiful question because you cannot look at the length of this question. In this question, you can notice just to define this question so much given just to give the definition of this question. Then finally, something is asked. So you can easily solve it. Now let's move on. So this is, this is what you have to observe. You have to observe that keep existing as the same and make is if distance is two. So tell me from this graph, what graph new graph you will get. If I give you this graph, then what is the new graph that you will get? If your G is this, let's assume a, B, C, D, E. Then what will be G2? Anyone? What will be G2 if G is this? So G2 will be like this. A, B, C, D, E. They, they will be same. But you can notice because there is in M square, there will be this. Uh, uh, there is a walk of length 2. There is a walk of length 2. So this A's you will put. 
So you will put this age. You can easily see these are the new ages that you are putting. You will put this age. You will put this age. You will put this age. So these are the ages you will put. Okay, clear. A C B D D. So uh, C. These are the ages you need to put. So very simple. Now the final thing. What is diameter? Now you have to see the relation between. Now let's see the relation between diameter of G and diameter of G two. What is the relation between? You okay? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. In in G, you are adding some more edges, and then you are getting G two. Which graph has better connectivity? Like just just think in the terms of city. Let's assume G is a city, and you are putting some extra roads. See, you can think this G. You can think as a city. This G you look as a city. This is a city, and in this G two you have more roads, right? This G two is I can say advanced city. Can I say this G two is basically advanced city? Can I call it G two is more flexible? Very good. So tell me, definitely like if you have if you have diameter in G, let's assume let's assume this is the diameter in G. In in G, let's assume this is the diameter. In G, this is the diameter that A B like this is the Kashmir to Kanya Kumari. Let's assume A B C D E. So let's assume this is the Kashmir to Kanya Kumari. Okay, this is the diameter of G. Let's assume. So diameter of G is let's assume five. Uh, Okay, let me take five. This is the diameter in G. Now you tell me, in G two, what will happen? Definitely in G two, this will happen. Are you definitely in G two also? This is happen. This is there. This path. Look at this path. Kashmir to Kanya Kumari. Look at this path. This path is already in G two. So diameter definitely cannot increase in G two. Can I say in G two diameter cannot increase? Can I can a simple observation can tell you that diameter of G two Can not be greater than diameter of G. Can I say this? Diameter of G two can not be greater than diameter of G. So definitely this option is gone. Which option is gone then? So diameter of G two greater than diameter of G. Uh, diameter of G two greater than diameter of G. This is definitely gone. This option is gone. Okay, this option gone. And you can notice the op this option is also gone because diameter can see. Sometimes it may be true, but it is not always true. We cannot say that it will be equal because diameter can decrease. Yes or no? In G two, diameter can decrease. It can decrease. Okay. It so this option C is also not good. For example, as you can see here, as you can see, what is the diameter of this graph? Tell me what is the diameter here? For this graph, what is the diameter? That is one, two, three, four. four. Diameter is four, right? This is the diameter. Diameter is four. What is the diameter of G two? What is the diameter of this G two? That is basically one, two. The diameter of G two is only two. Yes or no? The diameter of G two that will be only two. From anywhere you can go to anywhere. Maximum distance two. Okay, so that is the diameter. So very simple. Like for example, consider this graph. What is the diameter of G in this graph? Look at this graph and tell me what is the diameter of G. What is the diameter of G in this graph? In this graph, the diameter is basically three. That is the diameter. Okay, what is the diameter of G two? For G two, what is the diameter? You can see, diameter will be two. For this G two, the diameter is two. So you can see this ops. Uh, so these are okay. From these options, now okay. Let's see one more thing. So you can notice if you have this one, if this is the diameter, let's assume in G in G, let's assume this is the diameter. This is the diameter of G. Let's assume like this is the diameter path of G. Let me assume that this is the diameter path of G. If this is the diameter path of G, then what will happen in G two? If this is the diameter path of G, then in G two what will happen? Then in G two this will happen that A B C D E F. If this is the diameter path in G two this will happen. You can jump from here to here. Then you can jump from here to here, and then you can follow this. Correct. 
okay yes or no so in g2 you can do this this jumping you can do in this g2 okay in this g2 this type of jumping you can do so that is what i uh, that is what i'm saying very simple so this is what happens so finally i can say that what will be the relation let me tell you the exact relation the exact relation will be half the exact relation is going to be half means the diameter actually will become half this is what you are doing and the diameter will become half because whatever diameter you take it does not matter what diameter you have so if this is your diameter path let's assume this is the diameter path like a1 then a2 then a3 a4 and so on an if this is the diameter path so diameter is n right so here the diameter of g what is that diameter of g that is basically n minus 1 or i can say or you can start with or maybe you can say n plus 1 so that it will become uh, n so the diameter is basically n now tell me in g2 what will happen tell me in g2 what will happen in g2 this will happen that from a you a1 you can directly go to a3 from a3 you can directly go to a5 and so on so can you notice that this in this diameter will be what diameter of g2 what that will be that will be n divided by 2 maximum like seal yes or no n divided by 2 seal that's it so this is your diameter so finally i can say the relation will be this the relation that will be the relation will be this that diameter of g2 is equal to is equal to diameter of g divided by 2 seal this will be the relation Okay, and you can see in all the examples, you can actually check it. In all the examples, you can easily check that it is just uh, basically getting seal. For example, here also you can check it is divided by seal. Okay, divide and just take seal. So this is what is happening here. So the answer will be diameter of G divided by two seal value. So this is the answer. So finally, the answer will be that uh, which option is correct? The only option that is correct is option A. Option A is correct, but actually in the option A, they can also make it equal. Even if it is equal, then it will also correct. Okay. Even if it is equal, then also it is correct. So diameter of G2 will be equal to diameter of G divided by two seal. So even if it is equal, then that is also correct. So the answer will be option A. The remaining options are not correct. You can see all these remaining options are violations. These are not correct. Option A is the correct option. Okay. Because if it is equal, then auto automatically it is less than equal. So that is the answer. Okay. So thank you, everyone. Anyone has any doubt? You can ask. This question, actually, let me tell you. This is actually easy question. In the gate exam, how will you do this question? Again, I want to ask you. In the gate exam, how will you do this? In the gate exam. Example. Yes. In the gate exam, you can take example and you can solve it. But actually, if you understand, see. The problem is that many students will not understand this. What is P equal to M square? But once you understand that M square is giving you walks of length two, then it becomes very easy. Yes or no? This question becomes very, very, very easy. If you understand that this P is giving you walks of length two. Okay. So basically this entry is equal to one. Either you have a direct connection or you have walk of length two. Very simple. See, read this question now. After the complete analysis, now read this question. Now you will feel that this question is very simple. Once we have done the complete analysis, now you will see that this question is actually very simple because you are basically putting age. This age you are putting, either you already have age or there is walk of length two. Is this clear? You are putting age. You are putting age. You are putting age. If you either you already have age, if you are already have is or you have walk of length two. So that's it. This is the question. So that is the reason answer will be option A. So this will be the true statement. Okay. So thank you everyone. I hope you got, you understood all these uh, analysis. So as I, as I told you, this is, uh, this class is going to be like a father of analysis. Do you remember? 
power of adjacency matrix when we started i told you that this is going to be the i can say father of analysis and the pure analysis okay so uh, so we are done with this all these three questions let me tell you all these three questions majority of the students will solve them by taking examples majority of the gate aspirants what they will do they will take counter example or some example they will take and they will solve the question and they will move on okay this is what they will do this is what many many gate aspirants will do because this is how the coaching institutes will tease them okay see in the gate exam you can do this during the gate exam during those 3 hours you can take example and you you don't need complete analysis in the gate exam don't do complete analysis in the gate exam just take example and move uh, and get the answer and go to the next question but during the gate preparation you should uh, getting the answer is not enough you should have complete idea what the question is what are the variations what is happening why this option is true why this option is false so you should have the complete understanding so that you can uh, you can handle any future question in the gate exam they can ask you any future question they can ask you you can handle it but in the as, as i told you in the coaching institute the teachers they will teach you in such a way that just get the answer okay take this value n equal to 2 take this value get the answer so the teacher is also teaching you uh from getting answer point of view just get the answer they are not teaching you the analysis they are not teach, they are not improving your uh, problem solving skills they are making sure that uh, that you just by heart everything okay just you just feel happy because when you do analysis you will uh, you will uh, you will have to use your brain okay for the analysis you have to use the brain a lot of thoughts you have to do so uh, you have to basically trouble yourself okay for the analysis for the complete analysis you have to put some efforts and those teachers they don't want you to put efforts okay they they just uh, see my child don't put any efforts this is the formula solve two question this is the uh, this is the question take the value of n take the value of n equal to 3 and solve the question so that is how they do okay so anyway so i hope you understood all these things so thank you everyone so this is your lecture uh, anyone has any doubt akash mavit ankit anyone has any doubt at this point of time okay if you have any doubt you can do it yourself okay so uh graph theory pyq after such shared theory yes uh, graph theory uh, pyq and revision uh, we will start uh, day after tomorrow okay day after tomorrow we will we will give two days to graph theory because graph theory is very important actually in the gate 2022 there are 8 or 10 marks from the graph theory just check it out gate 2022 this paper you check how many questions are from graph theory almost 10 marks 10 marks only from graph theory only from graph theory that is importance of graph theory okay so almost 10 marks in single year like 10% weight is a graph theory has discrete mathematics is very big in that discrete mathematics a small graph theory has uh, such a huge weightage so that is the reason two continuous days okay we will solve the questions of graph theory we will see the summary revision and gate questions of graph theory we will do ks is asking peterson graph see ks there are many specific graphs see all these things cannot be taught of course i can teach you peterson graph but next year they will not ask you peterson graph they will ask you some other graph are you getting my point see there are many specific type of graph there is no limitation like there are lakhs and thousands of graphs like there is a peterson graph there is some other graph you can call you can create a new graph and you can call it ks graph okay so so there is no limit on a specific graph now uh, uh, this peterson graph this question came in the gate exam let me tell you let me tell you if you did not solve this question before the gate exam if you have no idea of peterson graph before the gate exam you cannot solve that question in the gate exam okay so this type of questions are not suitable for the gate exam let me tell you like this peterson graph in the gate exam the question should be so that a student can think and solve now just think about it in the gate exam uh, next year they can ask you some other graph i will teach you peterson graph after that in the gate exam they can ask you, they can give you some other graph okay so these type of things are basically purely your analysis can you do the analysis 
and I, one thing i i can tell you that that peterson graph question if you did not do before the gate exam if you don't know the answer before the gate exam then you cannot find out the answer in the gate exam in 5 minutes of course if you give 15 minutes you can get the answer 10 or 15 minutes you spend then you can get the answer but within 5 minutes you cannot get the answer there are four options you have to find the chromatic number you have to find the independence number all these things you have to find in that question in the gate 2022 question okay in the gate exam in the 5 minutes you cannot do it okay so don't worry i will teach you the peterson graph but that question will not come in the next uh, that peterson graph came once now it will not come for the next 5 years okay so don't worry uh, but i will teach you don't worry okay i will create a, uh, for that gate 2022 uh, question i will create a video okay uh, i will record the video i will do the complete analysis of the peterson graph so do not worry about it okay yeah, tomorrow we will study DBMS, Database Management System, Time Stamp Protocol. Okay, this Time Stamp Protocol we did not study. We will study tomorrow. Time Stamp Protocol. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye.